Hi, this is Eric White. I received a question recently about what the glossary part is used for. With Office 2007 and Office 2010, the glossary part is used for two different purposes. First, it contains the placeholder text for content controls, and second, in template documents, it contains the material for quick parts. First, let's look at the placeholder text for content controls. I'm going to show you just a little bit of behavior here of Word. I've created a document. All I have is the word hello in the document. Drag the document to Visual Studio. And you can see that there is no glossary part here. Open up the document. Go to the Developer tab. Insert a content control. Save it. Close it. Look at it in Visual Studio. We can now see that there is a glossary document. If we open this glossary document, format the XML, we can see here, click here to enter text, change that to click here to enter your customized text, save it, close it. And now when we insert a content control, we see the customized text. Now I'll show you about quick parts. Create a document, add a little bit of text. Select the text, go to quick parts, and click save selection to quick part gallery. The name of this building block will be openxmldeveloper.org saving in buildingblocks.x. You can find that in the user application data folder. In my particular case, it's in C colon, backslash users, Eric, app data, roaming, Microsoft, document building blocks, 1033 slash 14, and the file name is buildingblocks.x. Drag and drop that to Visual Studio. Open up the glossary document part. We can see the quick part that I just inserted. At this point in time, these two uses are the only uses for the glossary document. That's all I'm going to cover in this little short clip. Talk to you later.